The 2024 Paralympic Games are into their second and final week now, and Canadians have so far won 11 medals, one gold, four silver, six bronze. And Josh van der Vies is co-chef de mission for the Canadian Paralympic team in Paris. He also won a bronze medal in doubles bocce for Canada at the 2012 Paralympics, and he joins us now to tell us about how the team is faring so far. Good morning to you. Oh, good morning to you in Vancouver. We're well into the afternoon here in Paris, but we're uh, lighting up the venues with our performances. Well, it, it sounds like it's so far. So tell me how it's been going so far. What, what is your view of week one? An incredible uh, first week here for the Canadian Paralympic team. We've got some outstanding, unexpected performances, some heartbreaking disappointments. It's the whole gamut here as... Uh, Paris hosts the the Paralympics. I mean, it's the first post-COVID games and uh, it's rivaling London 2012, where, as you said, I won my bronze. And tell me about um, the medals so far. We've got one gold, four silver, six bronze. Where are we seeing the, uh, the hardware being handed out? Well, we love uh, the medal performances and we, we like the non-medal ones too, yes. but the medals are... Uh, are coming in and Nick Nick Bennett in the pool just won our first gold medal at La Défense uh, Arena. I was there last night cheering him on. It's 17,000 people in that stadium, wow. completely sold out, loud. <laughs> and uh, he was in third uh, for the last 50 meters, just kicked hard into the wall and took gold. And we heard O Canada for the first time. Oh, that's wonderful. That must have, what did that feel like? It was uh, just such a rush. It meant so much to our team and so much to to Nick. Just the 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 full cycle is where my thoughts went to. Um, you know, learning that you have autism at three years old and having such a family moment there. His sister is his coach. His family is there cheering him on, fully included on the world stage uh, beyond wildest dreams. That's amazing. Um, so what specifically is, is your role, Josh, as the chef de mission? Well, I have three main roles, and they, they all involve messaging. So I give messaging to the team, to the media, and to sponsors. And so it's all about mentoring and engaging the one-on-one -on -one moments with uh, athletes uh, to build a high-performance environment then it's sharing uh, what the team is up to in the media, and it's also uh, helping our sponsors um, come along for the ride. And how have things been there? How has the coverage been? Um, how has the reception been? Because we often, you know, uh, it used to be that the Paralympics sometimes got treated as a little bit of an afterthought following uh, the Olympic Games. Well, the French uh, were pretty uh, skeptical about the Olympics here, too. And then uh, a couple of days in, everyone sort of said, hmm, this is uh, pretty cool. And uh, it looks like the elite sport fever hasn't died down here in Paris. We're hearing that coverage is uh, the best it's ever been in Canada. We're uh, now in a world where people are watching media on their streaming services, so we're not so reliant on cable uh, cable tv anymore right so uh we're we're so happy that canadians can just find the sports that they love and want to watch because you know hockey and baseball and basketball are okay but it's incredible now that canadians get to watch uh, wheelchair rugby and wheelchair yeah. fencing wheelchair tennis swimming athletics and the paralympic only sports of bocce and goalball and you're right, there's so many ways to see it. And, and, and of course, uh, on CBC Gem, we've been running it, but also on the main news network. I mean, I'm, uh, you, you know, I'm, I'm looking right now, and the coverage has been almost wall-to-wall -wall on Newsnet uh, throughout. It's just been great. Um, Absolutely. You, as I mentioned off the top, you previously won a bronze medal in 2012 in, in Bacha. Now you're a, a mentor and, and, and a supporter for athletes who are themselves competing. You have seen this on both sides. So what, what is it like for you to, to be there and to, to, you know, not just cheer on, but to actually help these athletes get onto the big stage. Well, now on the other side, I can really reflect a bit more on the magnitude of the games. And I was when I was competing too, but I really see uh, that diversity, equity, inclusion, it's so important to so many people now. 
And the Paralympics are just the intersection of that. It's inclusion plus excellence. And so that can uh, put some pressure on uh, performances. You know, we in the moment, athletes, the athletes, uh, the non-retired athletes now who are performing, they don't necessarily think about that. It's all about focusing on the moments uh, that they need to to dig deep. And so my message to them has been that I believe in their potential, that no matter what happens on the field of play, uh, what comes now and what comes next from such an elite group of Canadians is just outstanding. And then I, I encourage them to think about what their top values are. We all sort of have values that we cherish the most and I encouraged them uh, at, at, at the opening ceremonies before we marched down the Champs-Élysées. I, I asked them to think about what their top values are and to live those values on the world stage. Um, and what is it like emotionally for, for those younger athletes, you know, the people who are going to a major event like this for the first time? Youth can be a real advantage in elite sport because you, all you have is your skill and your talent and you don't have the, um, the pressure and the, the destiny barreling down on your shoulders. All so that history. It, it can, it can uh, you, you know, you can just go out and do what you're wanting to do. I mean, there's also, of course, benefits to experience, and uh, we've got a, a good mix on our team. You talked about uh, some of the contenders who have not won medals but who put in amazing performances. Um, uh, Mel Pemble set a world record with her qualifying round, narrowly missed the winning a medal in the competition. Yes, and our athlete mentality, of course, is to be gutted when we miss our goal. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, all Canadians, I think, are so proud of Mel's world record. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's outstanding. The, the wheelchair rugby team uh, finished sixth here out mm -hmm. of the medals. I know that's not what they were hoping for, but they represented us so well, came so close to beating their rivals, the USA in the first game and held on, you know, as much as they could in such a tough field and we're so, so proud of mm -hmm. them. Josh, it's great to hear you this morning and for this afternoon for you in Paris. Thank you so much for taking the time with us and continued success in the, in the next week. Thank you. Thank you so much. You take care. That's Josh Vandervies, co-chef de mission for Team Canada at the Paralympic Games in Paris. <laughs>